Ipswich. Ipswich Town back in the top flight after an absence of six years. As last year, the club captain is David Linnigan, but of course the shirts are different and the officials no longer wear black. Ipswich still play a brand of fast, exciting football. Chris Kiwamia tested Nigel Spink after only three minutes. Mick McGiven is the new team manager. Now, how he survives 90 minutes without blowing a fuse, goodness only knows. Ipswich dominated the early exchanges. Referee Alf Buchs waved play on when his linesman flagged for offside and Paul Goddard missed a good chance. Town's goal came from a mistake. Villa's Stephen Froggett gave the ball away and Gavin Johnson did the rest. Johnson is very left-footed and normally only uses his right foot to stand on, so this was a bit special. Villa had much the better of the second half and it was no real surprise when they equalised. There were a couple of defensive errors and the former Ipswich striker Dalian Atkinson scored for Villa. 1-1, the final score. A little bit disappointed after going in 1-0 up at half-time and playing reasonably well. We wanted to go on and win the game, so we're a little bit disappointed with that. What happened in the second half? Um, well, that's what we were trying to discuss in the dressing room afterwards. and. Uh, there have been a few ideas put forward and accepted and um, we'll keep that in the dressing room and work on that Tuesday. I would hope they do quite well. They've got a good team, they've played some great football now which they showed first half. I can't see why, all they've got to do I think is pace themselves better. So if they, they come out and think they seem to blow up and we overrun the game, you know. Um, but I think they've got a good future. They've just got to stay up in the, in, in, in the Premier Division. I can't see why um, they shouldn't do, do well for the, for the, for the future. Yeah.